Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make the Concord Fizz. This is our kind of fruity fun take on the classic Ramos Gin Fizz, mm -hmm. right? That's right. Yeah, we're going to be using Concord grapes. Yep. They come in season in the fall. Yeah, and they're very sweet and delicious. Yes, very, very delicious. If the Darthings didn't have seeds in them, we could like be feasting, <laughs> feasting on them constantly, right? couldn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Concord grapes are these guys. They're a little smaller than the grapes you normally see in your supermarket. Mm -hmm. So if you can't wait till fall and still want to make this, um, you can use the large table grapes, but just use half as many, four, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yep. So you need the Concord grapes. You need an egg white, a sugar cube, some gin, Aperol, that's Campari's less bitter cousin, some heavy cream, bitters, and some club soda. Yeah. Criminy. Mm -hmm. And you need to have like, uh, you need to be in shape, don't you, Phil? You need good shakers. Yeah, you yep. need both good biceps and triceps. For, <laughs> yes. For a, concentric and eccentric. I don't know what I just said, but it sounded <laughs> like it was pretty good. Yeah, you got that done pretty good. So we're gonna start by putting an egg white into the uh, glass part of our Boston shaker. If you don't want to use uh, uh, egg white, if you want to use something pasteurized, then you can use liquid egg whites. And then in that case, you'd want to use one and a half ounces, mm -hmm. right? We're going to put in also a sugar cube and then eight Concord grapes. And we're going to muddle those, right? Yep. We're going to muddle that with a puckered muddler. Uh, we want to muddle everything but the seeds, so that's going to help you muddle around those. Doesn't take a lot. If you want to juice the seeds, mm -hmm. kind of the inside of the Concord grape is kind of like a firm, like little snot ball in a way, right? <laughs> that, that's the best way to yeah. describe it. <laughs> but in a good sort of way, right? Yeah. You got to break those up mm -hmm. and uh, you don't want to pulverize the seeds. That's why we use the puckered muddler. To, to that, we're going to add one and a half ounces of gin. We're using the Bombay Sapphire East here today, but certainly this is a very, very forgiving cocktail. You can use your favorite gin. A half ounce of April. This kind of has a little bitter element in there. Kind of is a nice juxtaposition to the sweetness from the sugar cube and the grapes, mm -hmm. right? One ounce of heavy cream. There we go. And we're going to do one eyedropper full of the Bitter Cube Boulevard Bitters. Excellent. And then we're going to dry shake this for a minute. For a minute. That's All why right. you need to be in shape. <laughs> so we're doing this to dissolve the sugar, get it emulsified there amongst all the liquids. and. Mainly to watch Phil's face turn red. Yeah. That's kind of my greatest joy. Because you don't really breathe when you shake very often. <laughs> I try to breathe. Yeah. But it's one of these days you're going to pass out. I am. So you got to shake this hard because of the aforementioned details. Mainly the third one. Alright. That's good. Good. We'll say that was a minute. Now we're going to add some ice. And we're going to chill this. So we'll shake it again for another minute. Nice. So we're going to add a ounce of club soda to the bottom of our coupe glass. You can serve this in a Collins glass, which is how a traditional uh, Ramos Gin Fizz would be served. But we're going to do this in a nice scoop glass. And we're going to double strain that just because the uh, grapes kind of break up into real tiny bits. And actually they will oftentimes clog your uh, sieve there. And here you have your fun and delightful Concord Fizz. Enjoy. Cheers.